everyone's got an opinion, um, but they don't necessarily know the truth. My name is Helen Wright and I'm the head of new product development operations. So making sure all the designs are done, making sure the planning and production teams know what the scope is and hopefully at the end of the day creating an amazing, exciting new product or rebrand. I'd probably describe it as spinning a thousand plates, if not more, and just really hoping one doesn't hit the ground. Some of them get pretty close. Like anyone I've spoken to has been like, oh, you guys turn things around really quickly, and we, we do. <laughs> and it's quite astonishing. <laughs> Makes me lose sleep occasionally, but it's really exciting when you see it out there in the, in the wild. Lout is probably the best example. It was a new beer recipe. It wasn't, you know, I think a lot of people think everything new we do is just a beer we already make that we put into a different can. Um, but Lout, we turned around in, I think, maybe three to four weeks essentially maybe five weeks a uh, completely new beer um completely new can design that we had externally done had to go through all the internal processes etc um and it had to be amazing first time round essentially it all comes down to the fact that we just have a really like cracking team of people who are good enough at their jobs that they can they can get it done we just don't do things that we think other breweries would would do or do well it can be a mix. I think, um, you know, when we've had some of the bad press that we've had in the last year or so, like a few people are like, oh, is everything okay? And I was like, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's just the nature of the business. I think they're just intrigued more than anything. Like, I think they just think it's this mad little world. And I think also people are kind of astonished that it's based in Ellen. I'm from Ellen and nobody knew where Ellen was, but now they do. Some people love it and they love going to Dog Tap. Um, they love the beer. They think it's great for the town. Um, and other people, usually your classic tenants, drinkers or whatever, be like, why would I want to go there? I'm not drinking that pish, like I'm fine with tenants. <laughs> and then other people just love to jump on the bandwagons of controversy, right? It's it, Facebook and all that stuff nowadays, it's like any kind of news is like, oh, let's give our comments on it. Everyone's got an opinion, um, but they don't necessarily know the truth. I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that, um, yeah, everyone's that sort of stereotypical craft beer type, whatever that might be in people's heads. Um, like if you look around our team, like most of the senior people in, in the brand and marketing team and that new product development team are, are female. Um, you know, we have a lot of, of different people in the business and I don't know that people necessarily see that or, or appreciate it. Like, yeah, everyone's passionate about the beer, but not everyone's that stereotype of, yeah, that craft beer geek. 